coverage you can count on. Channel 3 Eyewitness News at noon. Thank you for watching Eyewitness News at noon. I'm Latrice Curry. We begin with continuing coverage. A pilot is recovering today after surviving a plane crash in Sequatchie County yesterday afternoon. It went down near Reynolds Road on Cagle Mountain. Now, Channel 3's Casey Freeman joins us now live from Dunlap. And Casey, what have you learned about this? Well, Latrice, just moments ago, I spoke with the Sequatchie County Sheriff who gave me an update about his meeting with a representative from the FAA, and they say that they are taking over the complete investigation. Now, yesterday, um, it was going to be a split investigation, but that has changed this morning, and it is, will be completely done by the FAA. Now, the pilot originally took off from Gainesville, Georgia, and stopped for fuel in Cleveland, Tennessee. After fueling up, he made an emergency landing in the middle of a cow pasture in Sequatchie County uh, because he says that uh, he told the sheriff's office that he lost power and then his plane flipped multiple times because of the terrain in that area. Now the United States military received an emergency alert from the plane early yesterday afternoon. They then notified Sequatchie County to have someone sent out there and the sheriff tells me that within being notified they were able to locate this pilot within an hour or so. Um, the pilot himself told Sheriff Coy Swainer what happened. Uh, we had a Tennessee Highway Patrol helicopter in the area. Uh, he came out, we gave him the, G the GPS coordinates uh, and he found uh, the wreckage here that, that you see now. Um, the pilot, which is the only victim, had actually crawled out of the plane uh, and uh, had some serious injuries but, but was alert and conscious. The pilot is Canadian and was on his way to Wisconsin, where then he was going to head back to Canada. Now, right now, we do not know the identity of this pilot, but we do know that he is recovering in a local hospital. And we aren't sure at this time exactly what the FAA will be releasing out to us, but this is definitely something we'll continue to follow throughout the day. For now, live in Sequatchie County, I'm Casey Freeman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.